all right my people welcome back onto this channel hmm well my people this is another one reaching us this is so strong i think everybody this time around needs to wake up if you are saying that you people should talk talking about one nigeria you will say our mouth is smelling you will say we don't know what we are talking about this is so serious now this is another one reaching us right now you know some days ago a man came out as you can see his picture the video went viral when the man talked about how he was you no know, involved in one chance kidnap that all the passengers slept off apart from him that he had to cover his mouth his nose rather with an handkerchief while the other other people the other victims had slept off under the influence of the spray the kidnapper sprayed in the vehicle i know majority of people must have watched that video hmm. we will recall that the video of an unidentified man talking about his kidnap ordeal recently made rounds online according to the man he boarded a bus around the lucky area of lagos state unknown to him that that kidnappers were in the bus he claimed that they sprayed a gas that made the other occupants sleep while he covered his nose with his handkerchief he also claimed that they took him to a secluded area and then used knives on him but fortification helped him against the stabbings and then right now the Lagos state police pro sp benjamin Udain confirmed that the police have seen the video of the man and then they would carry out an investigation into the matter meanwhile the Lagos state police pro sp benjamin Udain has now shared a tweet on his official page to debunk the news of kidnappers around the lucky area of lagos state according to him the story of the man who claimed he was kidnapped in lucky is fake is false that's exactly where i'm going to right now <laughs> i know a lot of people be like that is nigeria for you that is why we cannot trust them somebody came out in that kind of condition and then uh, with that kind of explanation without blabbing and uh, you are telling us nothing like that happened at all there is nothing like robbery or kidnapping in lagos or lucky part of lagos in the first place why would police in the first place tell us that nothing like that has been happening when a lot of people have, have been kidnapped we have seen a lot of things happening yes only god knows what they are doing with their bodies but the truth of the matter right now is majority of people have frowned against it now the lagos state police pro sp benjamin Uden has now shared a tweet on his official page to debunk the news of kidnappers around the lucky area of lagos state according to him the story of the man who claimed he was kidnapped in lucky is false he said preliminary investigations so far reveal that every claim made by the man in the video is false okay and then he encouraged the man to show up at the police station to assist the police with the investigation okay right now this policeman had just shot himself in the leg in the sense that he says he's encouraging the man to come so that they can you know he can help them in the investigations and right now this one has now caused a lot of you no know, arguments reactions on social media a lot of people have been like nigerian police can never be trusted so you mean you have not investigated anything with him and then you are concluding that is false you have not even seen the man you have not asked him questions and you are concluding that is false then who is that man that is saying there is one nigeria now any everything that is happening wrong in this country they are always trying to cover them off they are covering covering them up because they don't want their secrets to be exposed and they are in the you know 
story of this man he said during the kidnaps even some of them were on soldier uniform you can imagine so where did they get those uniforms from who gave them the uniforms well the truth of the matter is if you are still out there you are still shouting one nigeria then you have you need to have a rethink well onto this majority of people do have actually reacted onto this one all right and then according to Agdom Obi Obio says, Well, if the claim has been proven to be false, then what assistance do you want from the victim again? Okay, my brother, run, run, run away for from the Nigerian Wahala calling themselves Nigerian police. Okay, if you are investigating, how come the conclusion is false? Hmm, that's another one. Because the police have said that they will try as much as possible. They are still in the, on the matter, you know, investigating the matter. Then how come you are not telling us, concluding that the case is, you know, is false when you know you are still in the matter? Nigerian police are not to be trusted. In fact, as far as Nigeria is concerned, we don't need to trust them. All right. And if you are investigating, how come? The conclusion is false. Jumping into conclusion without investigation doesn't portray the police as a neutral institution. All right, this has been said by Obadiah Maxwell. That's another one. Well, Jude Nogo says, well, you haven't met him in person to ask questions, and yet you have concluded it is false. Who did you do? Who did you do your investigation with? with spirit okay that's another one no? now you are concluding but not that you are, you have done any investigation on that then why is it that nigerian police nigerian no security personnel are always covering up what they are not supposed to cover what exactly is going on in this country hmm. this is so serious may your immediate brother have the same false encounter okay that's another one this one is coming from guests they say okay well, if the police are saying this is our force then let it happen to their own immediate brothers and sisters uh -huh. and then you now call it a false encounter to teach your family the lesson of your life all right that's serious well the truth of the matter is that um, with the level to which we are in this country anyone who is still saying na lie na lie it can never happen it did not happen that person you have to run from such a person that person knows what he is doing that person is a wicked soul yes yeah, so the people who are saying they want to go their separate ways they know the reason because they are suffering they are know they are they are suffering a lot and they know many things have not been going on well killings everywhere hmm, how long are we going to continue in that manner killing everywhere no no mutilation and they know maiming a lot of things are going wrong yet the security personnel are not ready to do the needful and yet some set of people are still telling us that na lie nothing like that happen you know be you better run away from such a person well the truth of the matter is as far as you know uh, Nigeria is concerned. Everybody needs to go in separate ways, and exactly what the people are actually talking about because they have seen it that hmm, this set of people are not ready to help any matter. So it's better we go our separate ways and enjoy our life. Hmm. With the explanation and the bruises all around him and the formating formation of blood. Hmm. Well, Nigerians need extra careful. Hmm. Nigeria needs to be extra careful. All goings around us cannot be determined who do we depend upon now. Okay, even the ones who are saddled with the responsibility to take care of us, they are even the ones telling us that nothing is happening, we should keep moving. Hmm. When things are befalling us on a daily basis. My brother, my sister, this is so serious. Now you should know where you belong. <laughs> yes, so... Now, you need to know where you belong. Well, my people, majority of things, though, have been said unto this one. What more can we say? Meanwhile, let me have your own take on this, my people. And remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel. All right. Thanks and God bless.